Pulitzer finalist Jordan Harrison is premiering his new play, The Amateurs, about a ragtag group of pageant players attempting to outrun the Black Death in 14th century Europe at Off-Broadway's Vineyard Theatre. Starring a talented troupe of stage favorites including Michael Cyril Creighton, Kyle Beltran, Quincy Tyler Bernstein, and Greg Keller, The Amateurs is a bold, fourth-wall-breaking experience about the purpose of art and the role of the artist in times of disaster. We recently spoke with Harrison and Creighton about the play and why audiences will want to tag along with these medieval performers. The Amateurs is about a group of 14th century pageant players uh, trying to outrun the Black Death, and they're performing uh, the morality play Noah's Flood. And uh, as they watch the people around them uh, die, they're, they're sort of inspired to invent the first human character. It is deceptively simple as far as the the storyline, but so full of gravitas and sort of beauty and intricate sort of details that as a whole piece, it is it is not simple. It is a it is an epic monster. It's fitting because the play is about this traveling group of players and we assemble this cast of like the usual suspects of downtown theater. There's this dimension in which they're playing themselves and a lot of the cool special effects of the play are actor operated. So they really become the, these people dragging their theater cart around in front of us. This production's players portray multiple characters. In fact, Creighton takes on the role of playwright Harrison himself. Playing a version of the playwright is a little daunting. <laughs> we, we did cut my hair and shave off my beard so I would be more playwright-like. It's daunting, but it's also really exciting because Jordan is a very interesting person. It's been really wonderful to sort of observe him in rehearsals and sort of take what I can from his personality and meld it with my own idea of what the performance is. When people walk out of my plays, they're usually like filled with questions and debates. I do like the thought that they might leave thinking about how human beings became as three-dimensional as we are now, that we that it, it didn't always feel the same way to be inside the skull of a human being, like that w the notion of the self is something that evolved over time and re in response to, to things happening. The conversation doesn't end here in the theater. The conversation goes out with you at the bar or on the street. Um, so I think it's going to, I think it's going to start really healthy, interesting conversations. And I think you'll, you'll never know what this play is about until you do, <laughs> you know?